Praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the Sanctuary Christian Center. This is Pastor Sims. I am delighted to have the opportunity to be with the people of God and to just be able to pray. Tell the Lord thank you and to honor the God of our salvation. I honor him. I bless him. I lift him up. I magnify him. What about you? Because he's a good God. He's worthy of the praise. He's worthy of the glory. He's worthy of the honor. We lift him up today. We call him King. We call him Lord. Bless the Redeemer of our soul. Hallelujah. We give him glory. We give him glory. We give him glory. We give him glory. What about you? I give him glory today. I honor him. I magnify his name. He is my God. He is my King. He's my blessed Redeemer. He is my everything. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord God. I thank him for his glory. I thank him for his honor. And I give him praise because he's so worthy of the praise and so worthy of the glory. We are in the holiday season. It is fastly approaching us. I want to say to the people of God to be careful and cautious of all the things that we do. We're hearing all these reports out here about people in the world and what's happening to them from not just giving attention. The Bible has said to us to watch and pray. Watch and pray. Open up your eyes. Be mindful of your surroundings. Don't just communicate with every stranger just because, especially for people that are single, someone is watching you as you are getting in your vehicle, day or nighttime, parking in various areas. I try to tell my wife all the time, late night shopping, no, no, no. You got to be cautious of, of the holiday season. Someone is always watching you. And when I say that, someone is watching you when you speak. Someone is watching you, your character on the job that you're working at. Your friends are giving attention to you, to me, when we say we confess the Lord. Let us not just say it, but also in action and in deed. That is so important for us to do in action and in deed that we are displaying that and we are being honorable to the Lord our God. Let us enter into prayer right now and let us worship the God of our salvation. When we enter into prayer, we are doing this jointly. This is a prayer of union. I, wherever you're at, you can give God some praise. Be mindful of that. You can praise God wherever you're at. Let's lift him up. Most holy God, we bless you today. We honor you, God. You are the love of my life. Hallelujah. I bless you, God. I thank you for the air that I breathe. I thank you, God, for the activity of my limbs. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus, for the joy that's in my soul, God. I thank you, God, for preserving and keeping my family in peace. I thank you for the hedge of protection that is around my family, my nucleus, as well as my church family. God, we thank you for strength and health, good health in our bodies. Father, oh Lord, how we lift you up and adore you and bless your name. You are the blessed redeemer of our souls. And God, so we magnify you for all that you have done. We magnify you, Jesus, for what you're doing right now. We magnify you and lift up your name. God, you are the great king. You are the great I am. We salute you on today. You are the, the ambassador of my soul, God. You are sovereign in all of your ways. You are the mighty king and warrior. You are the judge of all judges. Hallelujah. You are, are the great I am. God, we bless you on today. We enter into the gates with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Thanking you, Father, for grace and mercy. Thanking you, God, for peace. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the joy that's in our souls, God. We thank you, God, for salvation. Oh, God, how we lift you up and magnify your name, Jesus. Power in your name. And we 
recognize the power that is within us. You are Emmanuel. Oh, the word says, and, uh, and to us a child is given, a son is born, and the government shall be up on his shoulder. He shall be called Wonderful Counselor of uh, the Mighty God, the, uh, 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 everlast the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father. God, we bless you. I see you, Benita. God bless you. Oh, God, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Nobody like our Jesus. You're right. Nobody like our Jesus, God. And that is why we give reverence to you on today. Today, God, those of us that serve you, I say that there's no other God like the God that I serve. So, God, we recognize the holiday that is approaching. We recognize, and I say this again and again, that the world gets to recognize the day of your birth. Yes, yes, yes. No, they may not serve you, God, but there's a pause in the, on the calendar purposely. There's a pause on the calendar, God, that we would recognize that you are the son of God. You are the salt of the earth. You are the bright and morning star, God. Hallelujah. You are Emmanuel, God, with us. You are an awesome God. Father, we recognize you, God. Oh, God, we're grateful for the, the time that has been placed on the calendar, but we know that you live within us and you live forever. You reign, God, you reign, God, you reign, God, you reign supreme in our lives, and we bless you on today, God. God, with this time approaching, there are so many people that are homeless. I thank you, God, for on this past Sunday, oh, my heart was filled with joy, God that uh, you would give me the vision instead of us as a church family when we finished communing together and feasting together, God, we would take the food. We were able to take about 20 containers down to the Atlanta area and feed the homeless. Oh, Father, my heart was blessed. Mm. The people may have thought that, that we were being a blessing to them, but they blessed me to be able to put food in their hands and they were hungry. Father, they were hungry. And that helps me to understand if they are hungry for food, they may be hungry enough to receive the word of God. God, and so that, that's a new mission for me in 2020. And I thank you for that vision that I may just stop myself and, and once a month and prepare some spaghetti, if it's just spaghetti, and, and, uh, and, and do about 25 to 30 containers and take it down to the people that are homeless, that are in need. We have so much, God, and I'm just wondering, do we wake up and say thank you? Mm. I haven't worked for a year and a half, and I say thank you, Father. Ooh, all my bills are paid. Nothing is overwhelming me at all, Father. I'm completing the mission that you've given me, Father, and I thank you, God. I pray that I'm able to get it done, uh, uh, that my book will be out in February of 2020. I'm speaking it in the atmosphere because now I'm working on it. I've been lack enough. It's time to get busy in God, and I thank you for the vision uh, that you've given me. Anybody else grateful for vision from, for God? Oh, God, vision from the Lord. God, we ask for your vision, God. Thank you, God, hallelujah, once again for those men and women that we fed. I pray for their souls. I pray for salvation for them. I pray, God, that someone would come along and will house them. Mm. Take them out of the cold. We went by a brother, God, that was lying in the street, laying on cushion, had cardboard down on the ground, and then he had plastic over his body to cover him, to keep him warm. Only, only plastic and a huge coat. That was not enough in 50-degree weather. Just not enough. Father, thank you for provision. Thank you, God, for giving us insight to want to do more, to do more for somebody else. That is what this season is all about, that I will be unselfish and that I would give to someone else beyond, uh, uh, beyond myself. I would put my plate down and give my plate to somebody else. God, help us to be vision seekers, to see what would God do at this hour. God, with us having a desire to want to do more, would you not bless us, God, with more to be able to go out into the highways, to go beyond the walls of the church and to be able to give someone else and to be a blessing to someone else. For the word has declared that it's 
a, a, a blessed, more blessing to, to give than it is to receive. Help us to comprehend and to understand the word of God that it is pinned on our hearts. God, I say that the word would permeate our hearts and would transform us to be the kingdom builders that you called us to be. God, we bless you and we honor you. We're grateful, God, with a grateful heart. We thank you for what we have. With a grateful heart, Father, we honor you and bless you. With a grateful heart, we enter into the presence of Jesus. With a grateful heart, God, we thank you for the peace and the love that passes our understanding. You are the peacemaker. You are the joy giver. You are the joy of my soul, Father, and we bless you today. Everything that we have is because of you. And so, God, we pause to give you glory. Hallelujah. We pause to honor you, God. We pause to thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We pause, God, just to say that I'm grateful for another day. We pause, Father, to say, God, I had a meal on Thanksgiving, Father. I'm going to share what I have with someone else on Christmas, God. I thank you, God, for the gift of giving. God bless us the more. Give us vision in 2020. Oh, God, open up our vision. A lot of our vision is impaired, God. Are we loving the way that we should love? Are we peacemakers, God? Are we constantly walking in and, 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 and having evil communication, gossiping all the time? We're falling short, God. Many of us are. We're all guilty of something, Father. Help us to reflect, sit back, look and examine our own selves. Quit putting judgment on our brothers and our sisters and examine ourselves to see where we're at because the help that we need, we can get it from Jesus. Jesus, would you not save us from ourselves, God? Save us from the way that we think. Save us from unselfishness. Save us, God, from being so angry and bitter all the time. Save us, God, from passing blame on to someone else, God, even when we were abused. But, God, now we stand free in that area. Ah, the blame does not have me overwhelmed at all any longer. I am no longer trapped by the devices of the enemy. I am free. In Jesus. Jesus, you set us free and we are free in you. Anybody need freedom in Jesus today? God, we're free from the shame. Ah. We free God in our minds where the enemy once had a, a constantly attacked us with the spirit of confusion. But God says that he is not the author of confusion at all, God. Just limited time that we were somewhat perplexed. But today, God, we thank you for freedom in the Holy Ghost, God. Freedom that gives us an opportunity to take a stance over every challenge that was given to us in the past. We now have greater opportunity in you. We are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb. We are free indeed in our minds, God. We are free from the traps and the devices of the enemy. We are free in our souls, Father, and we bless you today. Come on, church. Come on, help me bless them today. Come on, help me lift them up. Share this prayer with somebody else. Have them offer it. Send it to them that they can be blessed, God. We thank you for this holiday season, God, that we get to recognize the power of Jesus. Help us in our churches that we are praying under the auspices of the Holy Ghost that you are leading us, God, as we are ministering who Jesus is, not who you were. Who Jesus is. You are the source of my strength. You are the joy down in my soul, God. You are the life giver. You are the bread of life, God. Hallelujah. You give me joy and salvation, God. You give me peace, God. You give me hope, Father. You you are the joy for the eternity that I shall have with you. God, we bless you and we honor you. We lift you up and magnify your name, great king that you are. You are the king of our souls, God, and we bless you on today. Help us, God, as we honor you the more. Oh, come on, church, help me to honor God today. We honor you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God, we honor you and bless your name. Ah, you are sovereign and mighty, God. We honor you and bless your name. Come on, come on right where you're at. Even in your home, give him some glory. You may not have given him glory maybe two days ago. You probably didn't go out even to church anywhere. Stand right where you're at and give God some glory. Lift up your hands right now. Make the devil out of a liar. God, we come to destroy those yokes in the homes during this, this occasion, during this holiday season. Where people are feeling alone, 
People are reflecting on the deaths of their parents. No, that's not what it's all about right now, God. You are the king of our souls, God. Oh, God, I'm I, feeling like I'm not in a relationship and I want to be in a relationship. I don't have a church home, God. Oh, help us, God. My spouse just died, Father. My mother or father just died a day or two ago and I'm feeling alone. We come to destroy those jokes, God. Uh, let the dead bury the dead, for we are free now in Jesus, God. Now that I don't have memories of where or who my mother or father was, but I, I, I look back over those memories and I'm glad about it. There's a glad, glad down in my soul. Thank you for the mother that I had. Uh, I'm thanking him right now. What about you? Uh, my mother is deceased and gone now for many years, but I thank you for the mother that I had. Thank God during the holiday season. Thank you for the father that I had. God, oh God, I thank you. Thank you for what you gave me, God. Thank you for every trial. Thank you for every test, God. Thank you for the turmoils, God. Thank you for the strength, God. Thank you for new vision, Father. Thank you for hope, God. Thank you that you are the salvation of my life, God. Thank you, God, for greater opportunities. God, we bless you and we honor you today, God. We lift you up and magnify your name, King Jesus. Jesus. We lift you up and magnify your name, King Jesus. Hallelujah. You are the reason for this season, God. You are the joy that's in our souls, God. We come and stand, God. Oh, God, proxy for someone else. We pull down those strongholds. Every fretter is broken and destroyed, God. All the chains and the shackles are broken and destroyed. We stand, God, to, to curse the enemy from the root, God. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But God, but God, you come to give life and that more abundantly. Thank you for the abundance, God. Thank you for the abundance of hope, God. Thank you, God, for new life, God. Thank you for new strength, Father. Anybody with me, hallelujah, as we praise God and thank him for the holiday season. Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for us, Father. Thank you, hallelujah. And in three days, you got up. But when you got up, Jesus, you got up with all power in your hands. And then you made us a promise, Father. And we're grateful that you said that where I am, I go, to prepare, I go to prepare a place for you. That where I am, ye may be also. But then I promise, I promise, and he's the promise keeper. I promise, uh, hallelujah, I promise to send the comforter. Uh, I promise to send uh, the Holy Spirit in the person of me. And he shall abide with you. He shall keep you, hallelujah. He shall govern you. He shall give you just what you need. So, Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus, those that have not been baptized in the spirit of the Holy Ghost, God, that you would meet them right where they're at today. Let them have a Holy Ghost explosion in their lives, God. Let them have an experience like never before. If it be speaking in tongues, let it be so, God. But let them know that they've been touched by you. Manifestation through signs and wonders, we pray because you are the hope of glory, God. We thank you for healing in the bodies. We thank you for healing in the mind, God. We thank you for new strength, Father, in the name of Jesus. We pray the prayer by faith. Father, I'm in the sanctuary today. Praying the prayer of faith, God, as I, I, as I, 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 I will touch the, 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 the uh, 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 prayer request box today, Father, and pray over those souls. But I pray right now in the Holy Ghost for every name that's in my prayer request box, God. Everyone that has prayed or asked us to pray for them, God, we are intervening right now. New hope for them, Father. Strength in their bodies. Financial increase, God. Uh, a loved one that is sick that is already healed. Not going to be healed, that they're already healed. Every prayer request that's in the box, God, today, we pray over those lives. Salvation for their children, God. Uh, thank you, God, for entrepreneurs, Father. Thank you for great increase in love and uh, someone that will reach out to them today and say that they love them. I got a call today. Day, from Big Seal today, just saying, I just was thinking about you, my wife and I, and we just called just to say I love you. Oh, God, how precious that was. 
how precious that was. Have us to reach out to somebody just to say we love them, God. We appreciate them, Father. Oh, that we would reach beyond ourselves, uh, Father, instead of sitting back and saying, I'm waiting for them to call me. I'm waiting for somebody. We, we, we sit in that position too long and we'll miss you. Oh, God, don't let us miss you any longer as we continue to pray, God, for folk that need uh, strength, folk that are homeless, God, folk that, that don't, don't know where their next meal is coming from. Somebody got a pink slip on their job recently, Father. We thank you, God, that they have found new employment. New employment is already waiting for them. When they fill out the application, the job is already theirs, God. What should I, my next move be in 2020? God, what should I do in 2020? Should I go back to work, Father? Should I find new employment, Father? Will you not bless me, God, while I'm, where I'm at, God? You got money that's never been made, Father. We thank you, God, for you are the hope of glory. Give us divine direction for the next move, for our steps are ordered by God. What are you saying for us to do as a people of God? What is, what is my divine direction, Father? What is my calling, God? Some folk are waiting for you, God, and some folk are just being lazy, using that as an excuse and not doing nothing and already know their assignment. Just don't want to act out. Just don't want to do. Just won't be committed, God. Uh, oh, God, bless them in their hearts. In 2020, the vision has changed. Uh, everything has shifted in their lives because they began to understand who they are in God, God. We rebuke laziness, Father, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke those that are not committed, God, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke procrastination, God, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke those evil, foul spirits, God, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke evil communication in the name of Jesus. We rebuke church a uh, uh, social cliques, God, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke those that are speaking against the pastors in their churches, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch not my anointed and do my prophet no harm. That is the word of God for the people of God. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you for my strength, God. Mm. Thank you for vision in the Holy Ghost, God. Oh, my steps are ordered in 2020. My prayers that I see God, huh? My prayers that I seek you the more, God. My prayers that my fasting goes to a new level, God. My prayer is that my prayer is elevated, God. For now I feel like Habakkuk. I'm in the watchtower, God. I'm no longer on this plateau with Hezekiah, Father. I'm watching and I'm praying, God. Thank you for deliverance in my house, God. Thank you for deliverance in my life, God. Thank you for deliverance in my church, God. Thank you for victory, God. Oh, Father, thank you for victory. Mm. Thank you for your victory. Thank God for your victory. Cry it out right now. Scream it to the top of the roof. Hallelujah. Shout the roof off your house, Father. Thank you for victory in my home, God. Thank you for victory on my job, God. Thank you for victory where I stand at right now. Thank you for God's victory, God. We thank you. We thank you. Mm. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Anybody with me? Hallelujah. Come on, give him some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him some praise. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Woo! Father, bless you. Bless you, bless your name. Your name is above every name. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess. Because you are the Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the great I am, Father, and we bless you and adore you, God. Thank you for this time of prayer, God. We pray that the prayers have already been heard, God. We are praying, oh, Father, and something is happening. For those that have had prayers, God, and are asking for manifestations, I was talking to a sister today. I call her name out on this prayer line, Rochelle Rivers. In the name of Jesus, she has asked, God, that you would hear our prayer. Uh, she's just graduated with her second master's. Give her an open door on, her jo on the job where she's at. Have her to see the handiwork of God moving. And for those, anyone under the sound of my voice, I pray that your request is heard by, Father and by our Father, and it is the will of God for you. It is the will of God for you in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It is the will of God, your prayer request for a new job. A new assignment, hallelujah. 
freedom in your home, God. Deliverance from a situation that you feel trapped in, God, in the name of Jesus. God, thank you. Forgive us of our sins, of what we have done, God. And many times we have not asked for that forgiveness, so we're still trapped right there. Forgive us ourselves, God, for keep doing the same things again and again. And we've heard you, God. We cry out in the Holy Ghost today, God. And we thank you for freedom. And we thank you for victory. For it is ours, God. It is for the asking. Father, we thank you for it. And that the prayers have been heard. For the prayers of the righteous availeth much, God. The prayers of the righteous availeth much. Thank you, God, that my elevation in you is, is escalating, is moving up in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For in 2020... We will not be in the same place that we were in in 2019. In you spiritually, we feel a spiritual elevation in you. We thank you, God, for hearing the prayers of us today, God, and honoring. We honor you, God, the more. We're grateful, Father, for breakthrough, souls being saved, people being delivered, God, shelter for individuals, folk being fed, God, for the holiday season, God, doing things that we have not done before. Oh, God, out of our character, but in the character of God. Thank you for your strength and your guidance, God. We honor you the more. We pray this prayer by faith. We say, let it be so. Let it be done in Jesus' name. We are praying in the sanctuary, and our motto is, we are praying and something is happening. I say to you and anyone under the sound of my voice, you have the power to decree a miracle in your life. We are speaking spirits. Open up your mouth and profess and confirm and reaffirm again what God has for you already. Oh God, he has spoken it to you. Now you speak it in the atmosphere. Oh God, for there is a miracle in my mouth. I will be a millionaire not many days hence. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, providing for others, being able to feed others, paying for locations and buildings, God. This building will be paid for. The land that we desire to have is already ours in Jesus' name. We speak it into the atmosphere. What's your prayer request? What have you put in the atmosphere? What have you put in the atmosphere for 2020? Trust God like never before. Trust God like never before. And stand and wait for the manifestation. I pray that you were blessed by this prayer. We're on the prayer line every day. 712-770-5603. With a participant code of 688800 pound. 6 p.m. Eastern Time. And we are in the sanctuary. We invite you to join us here. Every Wednesday and on Facebook Live. Praying. The prayer by faith. Touching and agreeing with you and believe in God for miracles in your life. I pray that you are blessed from this prayer. Please take the time out and share it with others. Please share this prayer with others. God bless you. My prayer is that your children become saved. Hallelujah. God will give you spiritual guidance like never before, and that you will live a prosperous life in Jesus' name. God bless you all.